Hello, skipper. Hello, navigator. Half a minute to go. Okay. Good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, whatever you identify as. Welcome to Baboon Yodel, the podcast that is happening right now in your ears. My name is Renee Church. I'm looking over at Edamon. That was ridiculously bad. What? No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it was good. Good, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever you identify with. Welcome to the show. Yeah, you just repeated what I just said. You should have done it like that. Well, then we'll just cut out my beginning. We're not cutting it out. And it's, then it's, it's all realsies <laughs> on Baboon Yodel. <laughs> We're all realsies. Even your negative opinions are realsies. Realsies. It's all realsies. We don't lie and cheat. None, none of that. Everything is the truth. It's the real deal. It's like a real housewives. Real housewives. You they know? are real. They're always like, I'm so real. I'm so real. I'm so real. And then a boot pops out. It like explodes. Explode. And they're like, oh no. Pow. It's like um, it's like those exploding vape uh, machines that you've uh, batteries. Have you heard that news? No, it was that. Other people. Th- there was a company which had a lot of vape stuff, yep. and their battery was um, um, faulty, so they just started exploding in people's faces and when oh they were God. vaping. Yeah. And that's the worst place to have something explode. Yeah, it's like exactly. In your mouth, face situation. Yeah. So what if a boob explodes? Explodes like when you are having like a. Um, a sexual experience. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had one of those before? Yet? <laughs> no, uh, I've had no boob explosions in my face. No. Uh, explosions. Yeah, I've never had uh, boob explosions. But when I was a kid, I breastfed, so there must have been some kind of explosion. Well, you've breast, you've had, you've breastfed. But yeah, you've I didn't breastfeed other people. No, I was fed by my mother. But you're also drinking a drink called Milkus. So oh, you're yeah. kind of continuing the tradition of what you were taught as a kid. Milkus. It's a can of banana flavored. Can of banana flavored soda water. Is it yum? Or is it, it is yum is if it? you were homeless. <laughs> 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 it's got a. It's got. Uh, it's got uh, what, what's that lady's name? A uh, poppity toppity tip top. Oh, what's it looks like name? um. What, the umbrella uh, lady. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. It does look like Mary Poppins, eh? I don't yeah. know why she's she's got nothing to do with bananas. It's, Cor- it's Korean Mary Poppins because this is made in Korea. It is. Do you know yeah. who left that here? Chester. Chester. He's, he's, oh yeah, he's a Korean friend. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mother Zobby. He um he left that here when we played Crash Bandicoot the other day, and so we've just <laughs> got that. Well, our lives are great. <laughs> it, it says it it contains zero percent juice. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a wonderful thing. That's so good. I used to drink this um drink called CC Lemon. It was mm-hmm. like a, I think it was like a Chinese lemon drink or Korean. I'm not sure which uh, land it was from. Zero but percent it, juice. But it was um it, the advertisement on the front was the juice of seventy lemons, <laughs> <laughs> in just like a bottle, oh and it was God. like, how do you get the juice of seventy lemons? You just take a drop of each lemon. No, you squeeze the 70 lemons because in China there might be a possibility they have small lemons. Small, little, small, small. That's a lot of lemons. That's a lot of lemons. You might as well just get like, you know, five or six or however many you need. I think it was a family business and the kids were lazy and they were like, okay, that's done. Yeah. Okay, that's done. And they just wasted heaps of lemons. Yeah, heaps of lemons. Heaps of lemons. There's lots of lemons in China. And they're like, how many lemons did you use? And the kids are like, 17. And they're like, the juice of 70 lemons. And you know who else uses 70 virgins? What? Who? <laughs> 70 lemons. What? <laughs> Suicide bombers. Here, you know. 70 virgins? Well, they got 70 virgins. I'm so confused. Yeah. 70 lemons? Yep. 70 virgins? Yep. Something is happening. So the, the, can, the Tom Hanks conspiracy, Tom Hanks conspiracy is conspiracy back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying your milk. Your milk yeah, we've got the video we're going to post of you drinking it. I thought it, it was... Yeah, I thought it was from um, some kind of... Uh, I don't know... But I thought it was a Russian drink or something. Mm. Uh, well, why do you think that? But I don't know. I don't know. Because they had Mary Poppins <laughs> on the side of it. She's like yeah. flying away. Mary, Mary Poppins was Russian. Russian away from those kids <laughs> when she was done. Am I right? <laughs> uh, it contains milk, soybean and 0% Zero, juice. 0% juice. <laughs> no juice. That's what you found. So how's, how, how's your uh, business going? Of, uh, you know, smelly shoes and juice. Juice. <laughs> smelly shoes and juice. <laughs> That's my business. Smelly shoes and juice. No, no, um, I'll just say zero juice. juice. Zero juice. <laughs> <laughs> zero juice. 
70 lemons, zero juice. Um, <clears throat> my, no, it works good. We um, had like a, a, a toilet sink situation happen. Toilet sink situation? Somebody yeah. pooped in the toilet it just but like, not in the sink? It like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it just like, there was a blockage in the pipe. So like, and it kind of went everywhere. And so we were like having to go uh, in and out of our back room to get shoes of people and it was smelling bad. Let me ask you this. Yep. Did poop come out? Nah. To be fair, I didn't go and investigate. I just kind of kept away from it. You should have. You should have. I mean, then it was, it was you a shit su- shit situation. Shit situation. <laughs> situation. Sit. Shit. Shit. Shit situation. Sh- shit situation. <laughs> Uh, it was a catastrophe. Oh, oh my god! It was. It really <laughs> it was. was. It was. Um, so yeah, that was. It was a fartageddon. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I mean, farts are quite different to like. Yeah. But farts don't really stay in the toilet. Yeah, it was poopocalypse. Why are we talking about this <laughs> once again? This is like the other day when we were just talking about poop. Um, <clears throat> have you been it? Oh, I've been. I've been. I've been quite good. I. I don't know. I'm feeling. I'm not feeling that well. Because I had Mad Max. No. Max, Ma- Max Lex? Max Tex. Tex Max. You text to the Mexican? No. The <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's a restaurant which does these burritos and stuff. Yeah. It's called it's, that's Mad Max, right? Mad Max. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that the first thing you said? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I thought that that was a movie. Anyway. That's Mad Max. Ah. There's Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. So you we should have Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah. Where we have like... <laughs> and it's like when you go to the toilet after Mexico. <laughs> Fury, it's the Fury Road. Or it's set in Mex- Mexico. Yeah. In the future. In the past? Mad Max Fury Road. I don't know. It's, it's based on the future or in the past? I don't know. But it's it's Mad Max it. will be amazing. Yeah. But anyway, tell us about your Mad Max. Oh yeah, but so, <laughs> so I, I I said I'm not gonna have brown rice. Uh, I'm just gonna have uh, just uh, lettuce and stuff. Mm. But instead of replacing brown rice with lettuce, he gave me extra black beans. Oh, right, okay. okay. And you know I'm a nice guy. I ate mm. the whole thing. <laughs> so <laughs> you said that so directly. You know I'm a nice guy. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> I ate the whole thing, and then um um yeah then I I. I, I that the second half of the day, I was feeling like, oh, I'm getting all this anxiety. And so, I'm so anxious right now. And then I had a big burp and then it was gone. Was like, <laughs> You're uh, like okay. a baby. I was like, okay, I, d- like, I just needed burping. Yeah, you did. You, <laughs> like, you're like, why? Why do I feel so gross? <laughs> <laughs> and then my boss came in and then <laughs> patted me on the back and I burped. And you're like, I'm better. I'm better. I'm better now. Uh, but was it a delicious meal though? Oh, I was so delicious. It's good. Damn, Mad Max is really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make pad thai tonight. Pad thai? I've actually gone out and bought bean sprouts. Bean sprouts? Yeah. And so why do you need bean sprouts for bad pad thai? Isn't that what goes in pad thai? It's like they're like... The main ingredient is peanuts. Well, there's you see, I bought... Is there, isn't there peanuts? Yeah, there's peanuts in there. I bought uh, a pad thai paste <laughs> to go... Just, okay. to, just a pre already made. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because... So what... Uh, what what are you gonna use as a as the noodle rice noodle? Yeah, rice noodle. Chick, I've got some chicken. Yeah, chicken is uh, gluten free. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's good. Thank yeah, God. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Thank God they bought it. <laughs> but if you need some drink with no juice oh. in it, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> no juice. I'm <laughs> like, hey, I'm allergic to juice. Well, I've got a drink for you. You you guzzled that though. It's, it's good. It's tasty. Tasty. It's tasty because banana stuff is usually quite heavy. Yeah. But this is light on the lips and it's like, it's like a feather in your stomach. It's like, car- it's like carbonated. Carbonated banana flavored drink with Mary Poppins coming out of it. Carbonated banana does not sound good. It is Ooh. so good. It is uh, the tastiest milkis I've ever is it, drank. Is it milkis or is it milk is banana? No, I think it's... it's I don't think Because that arguably that's what it is. Is there milk, milk in there? Oh, soy. They say that it's soy milk. Well, that's quite um, that's quite good for the the gut, isn't it? The gut. Well, it's you know. Yeah. Not too much dairy weighing you down. Can't yeah. The dairy sounds black disgusting. beans as well. They're they're quite good for the gut. Are they? Well, not not know. for you though. You should be burped. They 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 are fibrous. Right. You know. So they they <coughs> they are they give your um. Stool some volume. I don't <laughs> want to know <laughs> about it. <laughs> All right. I think our listeners don't really want to uh, us to talk half an hour about 
Milkers. No, I but think, this episode is brought to you by right, Milkers. Milkers. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we've got a few things to talk about today. Let's Milk from the rose. <laughs> Are you talking about seal? Seal, yeah. <laughs> Milk from, from a rose. the rose and the can. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real Leonard Colony because you were like speaking it. <laughs> oh, how did how did he get those scars? He got those scars uh, when he was young, <laughs> and he got attacked by rats. <laughs> Rat attack. You got a, you got a rat attack. <laughs> rat attacked <laughs> by How Remy. You know, remember Remy from Ratatouille. Ratatouille. He attacked. How seal. many? Just one rat attacks you. One rat because there was a vendetta. Well, a rat vendetta. A rat vendetta because the, uh, the, he was young <laughs> and Sounds he was delicious. A rat vendetta. <laughs> He was young and he was hanging out in the house and he wanted to <laughs> kick this rat out and the rat didn't go want to go out and rat said, this is my house. And then that's what happened. Wow. Yeah. Well, I've Googled it. The prominent scarring on Seal's face is the result of a type of lupus called discoid lupus, which affects the skin and leaves large scars. He had lupus? Yeah. Face lupus? Face lupus. <laughs> Oh, and, um, I think his, it's an auto, brother, autoimmune disease. Oh, of what? And it just says after it, it just says his brother is also an accomplished songwriter. <laughs> so it says after it. No, yeah. I thought it was going to be like his brother has it as well. Um, yeah, his Damn. brother's called the Bullets. The Bullets. That's his name, but it's spelled B U L L I T T S. Oh. The Bullets is his brother's like. Bullets. Yeah, James Samuel. This is all very interesting. Yeah, it's not that extremely interesting. We have we have some interesting things to talk about, which we will do in a second. Hey Ed, have you ever been on a lime scooter before? Uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just like straight? You were so confidently like, yeah, I love it. Like, no, I hate that shit. Do you? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it a lot. How do you know if you've never done it? I, I've I. I hate it because it's like everybody is just zooming around on the lime scooters the whole time. Mm. Have you been? Have you used it? That yeah. you're such a such a big advocate. Yeah, for it? I love it. No, I've never used it. <laughs> no, I've never been on a lime scooter. What do you think? Do you feel? I feel anxious when people are just zooming around like yeah. that. Do you like it? I. Do you think is is it your dream that you one day you're gonna try it? No, nah, because I'd do it if it was my dream. <laughs> but I no, I don't know. I've never done it. It seems quite dangerous. I don't really dangerous. even like being behind the wheel of anything, so I don't like being in charge. So I've never been on a lime scooter, but there's been some some things that have happened with lime scooters this well, week. What's what's happened, Renee? What's happened? <laughs> well, live, we, you know, it's coming in live here. Um, no, a guy, a guy <laughs> died <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> answer the phone. <laughs> um, no, it's like seriously though. Like a guy died on a lime scooter in Auckland. Yeah, yesterday. That's crazy, eh? There's a dude who got um, accidented. Du- a dude died. <laughs> well, he was he was a an man. old dude. He was uh, uh, mm. 59 years old, and he died in an accident of the lime scooter. Do you know how it happened? Like, did he just fall off it, or like, did it he go uh, into something? Police is looking into it, okay. investigating it, and the 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 mayor of uh, Australia, no, Auckland, <laughs> is uh, saying Phil Goff, honourable, right honourable, Her Majesty. Phil Goff is saying mm-hmm. that um, we can't really say anything much at the moment until yeah. the coroner's report comes out. <clears throat> but uh, f- for me, I think the coroner's <laughs> report c- will come out and say it was a lime scooter. He died <laughs> on a lime scooter. <laughs> um, that's crazy, though. Eh? Appar- it's thought to be the first death on a lime scooter in New Zealand. In New Zealand, is the first death. <clears throat> the, there's a, du- a dude who died... A man who who <laughs> died in Brisbane last year as well oh, on a lime no. scooter. Yeah, and this these things are killing everyone. I know. I'm just and so many people are getting injured and. Well, this lady got injured on a lime scooter, like in the exact same place that the dude died, like twelve hours later this morning. That is so magical. No, mm-hmm. that, that's not. But the that's word. crazy though. Why? It's crazy. It's crazy. Because it, it was like two a.m. or something that the dude died, or like or last night and yeah. then this morning, this lady. I think that's uh, maybe it's a bad turn. Yeah, it's uh, near near this place. It's in town. I know it's like not far. Not not far at all. I think this is that's like the black hole of, not black hole, Bermuda Triangle mm. of lime scooters. Yeah, anybody goes there dies. Yeah, or gets injured. Yeah, 
this lady, I don't know if she's going to die or not, but hopefully she remains alive. It's the Citrus Point. It's called Citrus Point? I don't know, because it's lime. That's what I was trying to... <laughs> L- listen, I'm not. It's great I'm, I'm not as genius as like Milkis, you know. Like, I'm not Renee has great skills of lighting things up with you know. with food puns. Yeah, no, but that's crazy. I um, there's a new one, like a new form of scooter out called flamingo. Flamingo scooter. Yeah. So that's a new thing. Uh, are those the black ones? <coughs> yes. Yes. Those black ones. Yeah. So th- uh, I think they l- they look more safer or something. I don't Aren't know. They, do they have like they they're big and machine like they have yeah. things attached to it. Well, it seems crazy. Like I know lime scooters were recalled because they were just breaking like randomly, which is so dangerous. Yeah, they were breaking randomly, and which will actually, if you know science, it will just throw you off the lime scooter if it breaks yeah. suddenly. Especially if you're going down a hill or something. Definitely, like, you, you know. will <laughs> break your face. <laughs> Crazy. And die. Yeah, and we we got a couple of friends who have been uh, accidented with, who have got into accidented, <laughs> who have got into accidents with lime scooters as well. Yeah, I think we should ban lime scooters. Do you reckon? Yeah, to so ban the ban the fucking lime scooter. It's kind of like, it's 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 similar to like, hey, here's a car, just scan it and get into it. Like that's dangerous. Yeah, that's you dangerous. Know? You can't just scan <coughs> and get into a car. You gotta gotta give tests, and then you you go and you. L- you, you learn the test, you give the test, you get the learners, and after six months you get the restricted, and then you get a full test, and then it takes about six months to get a proper license, yeah. doesn't it? And these guys just go... Uh, you can just yeah. get on the lime scooter and go. Uh, oh, the Q, uh, what's those code? The codes are on, on it? You know, the... The barcodes? Barcodes yeah. on it, yeah. Q codes. What are they the, called? The Q code. I think it's a barcode. A scan yeah. code. A scan a, code. A code. The, the thing, yeah. I don't know. I've never driven a lime scooter oh, but because you don't I'm. Don't know about those codes. What do you mean the code? You get those the app, right? Codes. Barcode. Uh, guys, I'll find out. I'll guys, gonna, is it everyone's yelling at their podcast <laughs> machines, being like, "Good, you idiot! It's whatever." <laughs> this code. No, this is like the, especially the Chileans. They're like, "Fuck you mm. guys! You don't know the codes." QR code. Oh, QR code. I thought it was Da Vinci code. Thank you, Chile Chileans. Thanks, Chileans. Thanks, Chileans. There's one guy from Spain as well. Ah, oh, dude. Hello to the dude in Spain. C. C. <laughs> C. C. All right. C. C. Lemon. C. C. Lemon. Milkus. So, um, <laughs> th- yeah, we should we should ban these because yeah. they are just killing people, and they they are just. I mean, ban these in the sense that ban the ones which are like freely available on the streets. Um, if you want to buy one then obviously you will take care of it yeah. and then you will learn it and properly use it. There's such disregard because they're the they're the cities. So it's like people, people, are can, such assholes. people can just do whatever they want with them. Yeah, people are such assholes. They, they just uh, move around and especially on Saturday nights on Queen Street. Yeah. Uh, this is our main street in Auckland. People are just losing their mind on these scooters, yeah. zooming around and saying, yeah, fuck yeah. And Ooh. they're drunk and they're like... They're drunk. And, they're, and the scooter's going, meh, 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 because they haven't scared them in properly. Yeah. And you know who you don't see a lot on the lime scooters? Who? Brown people. Please, you know why? please go into it. Uh, because they're not idiots. Uh, wow. <laughs> Racism. Is that, is that actually like an observation you've had though? Yeah, do you, so do you I keep, saying, I've seen, keep yeah. seeing these, all these white people zooming around <laughs> on this. <laughs> I mean, I've nonsense. seen some, some brown people as well. Yeah. But the majority of the people I see zooming around on them yeah. are white people. Just dumb white people. They're not dumb, but you know, I mean, they're so trying to save the planet and all that shit. Yeah. But um, I might be racist. We might some get some hate mail. That's fine. Yeah. yeah we, we, were, we, we are provocateurs. <laughs> we are. We like we're so uh, we pushing pro- the mold. We provocate. It's interesting though. Like lime scooter does seem quite white. It is. I a mean, I haven't been on one, so I'm not contributing to that. No, you. But you support the white people. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm white. But <laughs> well, I think I can support everyone. <laughs> There's enough room. Um, yeah. But I guess I might be wrong because I've only seen it in the city center and. Maybe a lot of white people are using it in the city centre. But, but it's a nationwide, not nation, citywide phenomenon. Mm. Do you reckon that Lime Scooters should be like Uber, where each Lime Scooter has its own driver? <laughs> like prof- professional driver? A professional driver. So you can just get on the back and they'll take you. You can pay. But I, it's like... But I think what will happen is that people who will 
uh, try to get a license to become a driver, they will all be perverts. <laughs> because they would want, you know, people to just grab them Gra from the back. Grab on. From the back. Yeah. Just grab it. Yeah, a little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. You know, they will <laughs> 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 is that how it's gonna go? <laughs> this is how it's gonna go, and then 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 it's filling be in its application already. <laughs> <laughs> then there will be a lot of me too, and you know, yeah, you know, lime all, two, all that lime two, <laughs> lime two, me lime li three, me lime. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's interesting. It's a lot of it's a, it's a lot to give um, citizens their own scooter to hoon around on. It's a healthy. It's like, hey, everyone, here's a quad bike. Go crazy in CBD. And you're <laughs> like, what? No. That's true. It's a healthy thing to do very nice alternative bit of fresh air yeah a bit of fresh air and you're not uh, driving around and you if you you don't take an uber if you have only a small uh distance to go mm. right but i mean but you it's dangerous as well it's the same so i i always i say that uh, ban the motorcycles as well we should not yeah. have motorcycles yeah. motorcycles are uh, motorcycles killers. are a it's liability Man, mm. people say, "Oh, we live on the wild side." Yeah, you live on the wild side, but you die and then put mm. other people in danger. No, you're, you're in a midlife crisis. Go to Europe instead, mate. Yeah, car is fine. Go see Get the Colosseum instead of driving a dumbass <laughs> motorcycle. <laughs> or no. do like those fifty, you know, the fifty scooter. Oh, know? my mum, my mum has one of those, and she fell off it the other day and like screwed <laughs> her foot up. So they're dangerous. They're dangerous. At least in the car, you don't fall off a car just by <laughs> driving by yourself. You just fall off, just get out of the door and just I fall mean, you can like car. severely crash into a you person. You can crash, but I mean, the accident... But there's a lot of, there's more precaution in getting behind the wheel of a car. Yeah, there's belts and there's things happening. And there's a whole... And stuff. Everything is there. You are riding a bike. I'm talking about the broom broom bike, not the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the bicycle. No, no, no. The, the like... The Harley Davidson. We're talking some issues today. I know. Issues, man. Issues, man. There's some issues out there and we know about them. We know about them. We drink milkers and talk <laughs> issues. <laughs> Sip the tea. That's the milkers, honey. <laughs> All right. Sipping so. that milkers. Spilling the milkers. So, yeah. Ban guns. Ban uh, the lime scooter. Ban the... Uh, what was the other thing? Motorbikes? And ban juice. Zero percent juice, baby. Zero percent juice. What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> Zero percent juice. <laughs> the juice always coming up later in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. Juice is coming. <laughs> the um the but but they've got balls though. They just put it like uh, in big words. It says on top, you can see. Contains Contains zero percent juice. Oh my god. What's <laughs> that what's the allergen uh statement? Oh, there's no allergen statements. It says that before. Just it, I saw it. Wait, show me. What was it? It says, allergen alert. Contains milk, soybean. So just the ingredients are the allergen alert. Yeah, I mean, they are alerting you. Listen, if you are, uh, you don't like bean, I mean the soy one. Yeah. And if you have issues with milk. You're like, yeah, milk, I had too many beans today. I need to steer yeah. clear of these. And then I drank milk. That just pushed <laughs> the poop down. Anyway, distributed by... Interna uh, Lotte International American Corp. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. Angel Ace. Angel Ass. Good. <laughs> cool. Great. Cool. All right. Lime so lime. what were we talking about? Lime yeah. Scooter. Lime Scooter. So no, no to Lime Scooters. What no. do you say? Is what, What's your vote? I say, um, yeah, just like get, just catch a bus. Catch a bus, or yeah. Just walk. Get a train, it's walk. Too, do you know what? It's too cold to go on a lime scooter now because yeah. the breeze that goes that you accumulate going on a lime scooter yeah. is too cold for me. Ah. It's just too chilly. So you're very selfish. No, no. I'm <laughs> saying don't go. It's cold. It's don't cold. It's cold outside. And you're going to get yourself get, sick. Get inside the warm car or the bus. Or walk. G wear a sweater or just yeah. slowly walk, you know? Yeah, just very slowly very walk slowly so the wind isn't walk. going past you. Yeah, exactly. Crazy Man, bitches. No, not oh, everyone, not the bitches. But everyone, <laughs> stop using lime scooters and, you know, walk to your place. You've already got a method of transportation attached to your body. Exactly. You have, well, most of us have legs. Yeah. Overwhelming percentage of majority has legs. People who don't have, they have other things to do. Walk, but they don't go on lime scooters. Exactly. Exactly. Say no to lime scooters. Ban say, them. Say no. Phil Goff, Simon Bridges, <coughs> Jacinda Ardern, 
Oh, we love Justin Tardo. Dare to resist lime scooters. Yeah, dare to resist. Hashtag no lime scooters. L- uh, lime scooter resistance education. <laughs> Lister. Okay. I think this uh, okay. this topic has lived its life. Uh, we'll move on to the next one. Your lady, your lady. Okay. Okay, let's do it. So this next this next article is interesting. Yeah, I'll just open it. Um, you can start talking. This one, okay. So adoption. That's the big word here. Um, so this uh, there's a lady uh, that. Sh- she revealed that she gave back her adopted babies that she'd just adopted and had for like a couple months. Yeah. Because she found herself pregnant when she thought she wasn't going to be pregnant. Yeah. Because she thought she was going to be in. Infer- or she thought she was infertile and she couldn't conceive. Yeah. So her and her husband uh, adopted. Is it, is it infertile or sterile? <coughs> what is that? I think it's what's it's the same thing. Infertile. What's it? Th- or sterile. It? What's this? What's the difference between sterile and infertile? Should I Google it? Just Google it and we're, we're knowledge of. Tower. What's Tower of knowledge. the difference between... <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing one hand. Oh, no, I put two Ws. Between... Oh, Google would take care of it. Fertile... Yeah, true. <laughs> and sterile. Okay, here we go. Google, do your thing. Sterility is the inability to conceive. Yeah. And infertility is the inability to complete a full-term pregnancy and give birth to a healthy child. That seems weird. Uh-huh. I thought infertility I thought infertility was just like you can't get pregnant. Uh, so now we know everybody, 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 absolutely everybody. Oh my god, that used to be on an ad in New Zealand. <laughs> so um about, about more. So <laughs> ster- so that means Sterile is just the inability to conceive. You can't, if you're sterile, you can't. Nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing's right? going in, going out. But if you are infertile, there is some problems in the cogs, right? right. So it, maybe your, you may, maybe your, um, maybe your, uh, you know, boys are not swimming fast enough. Your mm. sperm is slow and lazy and shit. And, uh, or, you know, you have I- issues in the ovaries. It's or like a dysfunction or rather than a yeah. cut off. So the process doesn't complete. Right. So much information. But I wouldn't call... It's weird to think that, like, a miscarriage would be because you're infertile. No, a miscarriage will be... um, A miscarriage is like a misfire, isn't it? It's like it doesn't... It Kind of. I don't know. No, because a miscarriage is like halfway through the pregnancy, something goes wrong and the child is... It doesn't have to be halfway through. Or or however long through the pregnancy, um, the child is no Something goes wrong and then things happen. But this is, yeah... Infertility I is the inability to complete a full-term pregnancy and give birth to a healthy child. But that might be a permanent thing rather than miscarriages. People have miscarriage and then have a baby later anyway. But is a miscarriage the result of infertility? For it's some, quite possible. For, some, th- for yeah. some cases. Might be a small part that's of infertility. That's a symptom of infertility for some people. Uh, that's true. We're so smart, eh? Well, you, you were smart. I'm just drinking milk. Well, I'm a woman. so I'm, I also What does that mean? I've also never had a... Um, a uh, pregnancy, so I don't know. But you know your, sp- y- you know your um things. Well, I'm menstruating right now, so does that count? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that that was that was what the water bottle was for. Yeah. You had the hot water bottle. Yeah, we got hot water bottle, mate. Oh, now the up. whole nation knows. Yeah, nation man. of fifty people. That <laughs> <laughs> listen to our I'm podcast. on period. Um, um, on the rag. So, okay. So this lady, yeah. So, <laughs> what are we talking about? Um. The yeah, so this lady, she she felt that she didn't re- when she, um, they took the babies home, these twins, mm. and she just really didn't connect with them. Yeah. She was just really not like the the dad, the husband was like all about he it. He was all about. He was like on to it. He was like dad. Oh, I'm the dad. I love these babies. Yeah, and it, it was great. And um, uh, what was her name? Um, Ellie Sanders. Mm. Right, and they. Th- they, they got the babies and they went home. Everything is going fine. But she didn't connect with them. She was totally um, not feeling it. Mm. She was like, ah, this doesn't taste good. What? You know, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, she like, ah, sure. I, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, she's, she just wasn't on board. She she was like, and she knew something was wrong. Ugly babies. Yeah. So, um, but... Do you reckon she said ugly babies? <laughs> she must have thought about it. She must yeah. have rationalized in her mind that why am I not liking these babies? Yeah. There'll be several reasons that these are ugly babies. 
you know, one of them might be one of the considerations. Always possibility that the babies, like all babies, are not beautiful. There are ugly babies out there. There are definitely heaps. There are definitely ugly babies. How do the babies don't, you know, if you're, ev- like adults, there's some ugly ones and there's some <laughs> pretty ones. It's just the way it goes. So that there's some babies who are ugly babies. Yeah. You know what do you? So you gotta you gotta have a transformation. Ugly babies grow grow grows up to be like a beautiful person. Inside. <laughs> Maybe these babies had great personalities, but she didn't stick around long enough. To yeah, <laughs> no. But so she then she went to the doctor and found out that she was pregnant, which yeah. is like crazy because she'd been told that she was that was not going to happen not, for her. It was not a possibility. Yeah, that was like an impossibility. Um. Yes. Yeah. 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 It was not probable. It was. It was improbable. It's not very probable. It was a problem. It was a problem. Um. And then so so then yeah they just like decided like well. These um, eight-month-old boys, let's yeah. just give them back to the what orphanage. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, fucking shit, what the f-? They They gave it back to the foster thing. So, I mean, I understand that you were not liking the baby or you were not feeling it, but you, you got the baby. I mean, yeah. you took it to your house. You went through like you a three- or four-year thing, thing to get these babies. And then it's unfair on the babies. You got to give them a ho- home first. And then you're like, oh, I don't like it. It's not. It's not. Oh, I've actually got my own now, so you can have these bangs. Mm-hmm. It's not a toaster. I, I don't. I, I afford, There's no 14 day return policy no, on it. No, it's, it's not like, like Skechers shoes yeah, that you can change your mind if you don't wear them outside. Yeah, the, I don't know what, what they said. The when they brought it back, I was, I'm with the customer. I know my rights. Take the baby back. Yeah. Uh, I I didn't. I mean, it's fine. I understand their position. Uh, but I totally disagree in the sense that what the fuck are you doing? Why can you? Why would you return the babies you, that you just adopted? Do you return? You can't when you have the baby. When you've already, I'm not talking about abortion, but when you, if they were their own babies, when you have them, that's it. You have them. Well, that's, the that's your babies. Sometimes you, you people, don't return them. Sometimes people put them up for adoption. Well, they. But they're, it's just so crazy for people to adopt and then give them back. Like you, you're really. Because Going through a process, yeah, and then to change your mind is like so weird. Yeah, it's like, like it's like saying it's like saying that you know you've lost your <coughs> iPhone in the house, and then you go and buy a new iPhone, and you come home. Oh, I bought I bu- I found my old iPhone. You don't get to return the no. iPhone again because you you've bought it, so it's you, yours. Yeah, you gotta do it. You have it. You made the decision. You have two Bull iPhones now. Shit. It's crazy. Eh? Those kids are going to grow up and be like, hey, yeah. what's my, um, what What happened before I got adopted? And the parents will be like, well. They returned the babies. There were two. two Twins. Of two of them. Like they bought the each other. They'll be fine. Yeah. And the foster, they, so after some time, I think they went back and said, uh, can I, can we meet them? And the foster people said, fuck you. <laughs> no, oh, you and so you're they not. went back to be like, oh, can we just like hit them up and be like, hey, remember us? We gave you back. Yeah. They, 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 they went, they went back. There was, there's a thing in here in the article that um, might I call their social worker. Da, da, da. It's crazy. I can't. I can't believe it. I say, yeah, they they were denied any further contact with the twins who have reportedly since been adopted by another couple. Yeah. Wouldn't I, you be like, I'm pregnant now? Yeah, yeah. Family's gonna grow and be even bigger. Yeah. If you're taking on twins, yeah, y- it's not. It's gonna be like you're gonna have three kids like that. Makes it's so. I mean, I and she. It's fine that she was not feeling it, but she gotta keep the. You gotta. Yeah. You gotta. You, you got. You got them. Times passed. I, mean, I think if she got them, wasn't feeling it, and then gave them back, I think it's fine. But the fact that she got pregnant and then gave them back is worse because, <laughs> like, oh, I have my own now. Okay. Like, oh, that's rough. That's that so rough. That is so rough. Oh my god. Milkus. Milkus. Yeah, this this shit will give get you pregnant. <laughs> Milk is no. no juice. It'll clear your infertility. <laughs> yeah, it was straight out. Yeah. Oh my god. This it's again brought to you by uh, Milkus. Milkus. Today we talked issues, not a lot we of did. bullshit. Would you want to hear um of a, of a big old issue? Juice time. Juice town. Two thousand nineteen, baby. Okay. So last week, OJ juice. Last week we brought you the juice. We were spilling the juice, sipping the juice. Yeah. Sipping old gin and juice. So we'll do a live reaction, live yeah. reaction audio yeah. to the video. But you gotta, you gotta put it on the thing. How so long I, is the video so that it? People can hear it's it. It's two minutes in the mic. It's fine. We can react. To I'll it just, later. I'll just turn it up real loud. Is that okay, or should I hold the microphone? 
you gotta hold the microphone. Okay, that's okay. That's oh, closer to the thing. Okay, that's right. On. These are dynamic microphones. So last week we talked about how OJ Simpson uploaded the video clearing the air between him and Chris Kardashian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Chris Jenner. Sorry. Chris Jenner. Yeah. Uh, and so. Um, now, this week, he's uploaded a video that's two minutes long. That's the title. Is, is there a title or a comment around it? The comment, the title is, Hope everyone had a good weekend with three exclamation points. Oh, that's, he's, um, he's really wanting everybody to have a good weekend. I know he is. Eh? So I'm going to, I'm going to remove the microphone yeah. from the stand. Seamless. And Seamless. we're going to, we're going to hear what OJ has yeah. to say. Hey, Toy the World is me, yours truly. You know, after last week, I got a lot of comments from football fans. Oh. Uh, telling me, Jews, come on, fantasy, you got to draft a running back first. <laughs> and normally I would go along with that, except in the case... Can I just say, he's sitting in a golf cart right now. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Now, there was only one quarterback within 100 points of him last year, and that was 93 points behind him. Uh, even Tom Brady maybe the greatest quarterback ever, was roughly 175 points behind him. Is he just going to talk about football? We'll just forward it a little bit. Should we just forward it? He's got one glove on also. He's very Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. MJ with the OJ situation. Look at the running backs. The top four guys were within 30 points of one another. What? And you got all of these OJ. young guys coming. Charles we love you, OJ. Jones and, uh, a Mac. I mean, some great young guys who could be built you'll get the ball more and Le'Veon Bell is coming. So Who are any of these people? I think Amer the Americans know. In that second round. Now on the, another note, when I came into the league, I went to a little bit of culture shock. Not oh no. I was born in San Francisco and raised there and went to USC, LA and then ended up in upstate New York. And then I murdered my wife. Well, he's talking about how he grew up in California and then had to go to New York. That's not a... Culture shock. That's not a tragedy. Well, we'll see. We're following his story, Twitter story. Doesn't matter if it's boring today. It will be good next time. Uh, is there anything else here? We had never played uh, with black guys before. <laughs> and uh, they came with all kind of attitudes and opinions and thoughts on things. But we had to put it all aside. You had to put it aside if you were going to be a team and have any chance of winning. And I'm pretty sure that was the case everywhere, all over sports back then. I'm just saying. All right. Fantasy football soon. Take care. Bye, Juice. Wow. There was a live, our live correspondent, the Juice, the from Juice a golf court. The Juice reporting on the football situation place. in the U.S. We'll bring it. Uh, Juice will be back uh, again next week. <laughs> Juice will be back next week. God, man, he's got all. He, he's really going content heavy, eh? Yeah, yeah, he's he's getting into this uh, thing, and then, I mean, it might just uh, become. It's funny now. Maybe it it becomes less funny, but we'll keep doing it until we run out of juice. <laughs> 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 that was good. Uh, yeah, no, that was that was that was juice, and that was that's our episode. Oh no, is the, is the mug coming apart? Yeah, what the fuck is happening? I think it was. Oh no. What is that all about? Is this the, the wash? Yeah, probably. It just came out of the wash. The come town mugs, no more. All right, okay, okay. We're, Sorry, we're guys. Domestic stuff happening. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, baby, baby girls, that, baby boys, was, uh, babies, don't return your babies. All right, okay. Fine. All right. If you're not feeling it, give it, uh, you know, just enjoy the video. And uh, if you're feeling thirsty, yeah. um, I do strongly recommend some milk kiss. One, one dollar. One dollar. Yeah, just one dollar. Um, and. Uh, don't go on limes. Yeah, do not go on limes. Don't right. walk the lime. Follow us. Uh, send us some hate mail. Baboon Yodel on everything. Everything. And we will see you. <coughs> okay.